Good evening, traders from around the world. What's going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing this week. And I hope you all had a, such a great weekend and are ready to fire up in the markets. Let's take a look at the SPY. And not a lot happened. Uh, we did get a very, very bearish candle. Um, as you can see here, we did finally fill this gap, which we did speak about last week. I did say that most likely we will come down and fill this gap. And if we did get a close below this, this bullish candle right here, we would most likely come down to the 100. Um, from here, guys, this is actually a fairly, fairly bearish candle, a very big bearish engulfing candle. And if you take a look at the intraday, really never gave anyone, any, any of the bulls a chance. A lot of people trying to buy the dips and there was just flag after flag. There's a flag pattern here, flag pattern here, flag pattern here. So if you did go, if you did get to take any of these trades bearish, well done. Um, I personally didn't take any trades on the SPY, totally missed this. Um, but super, super bearish. We did fall just over 1% on the day. And uh, yeah, so most likely start of October, after filling this gap, we are most likely going to head a little bit lower and probably soon start to consolidate. We'll, we'll soon see what's gonna happen in the markets. We need to find out where this next level of support is going to be. This right here is the old previous resistance and resistance here as well. So if we do bounce out of here, then it's pretty much in line with what we were saying last week with the bounce off the 100. But we'll see you guys. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Let's take a look at the E-minis and the E-minis basically doing the exact same thing. Uh, afternoon session, fairly quiet. We are at the two, uh, We are at the 100 simple moving average still at this resistance level here. So most likely we will see what happens this evening or tomorrow uh, to see if we get any more action. Let's take a look at MU. Now MU, if you did catch my analysis back here, I did say, guys, we are gapping down after hours. Look for a bearish play down to the 100. Um, so if you guys did get to take this short, then well done for, the, for all those day traders out there huge huge volume came in that day and right now we are just chilling at the 100 so most likely we're going to consolidate here for some time um, i do expect us to probably do something like this right here uh, so just keep your eyes open um, for a nice little double bottom-esque pattern and look to buy low sell high take a look at CF Industries. CF, not doing a whole lot, pretty choppy, very sideways. We are currently creating some lower highs um, and we are very well just consolidating at this price. We do have a resistance level right here. Um, so if we do come back down to the 100, would not be surprised, but uh, yeah. So from here, guys, I would just be playing this fairly, fairly neutral. If you're in shares, probably just look to sell some covered calls up here. Um, but if we do start to break these lows, I would definitely look to protect your asset if you are in shares on CF. Let's take a look at Marvel. Um, now Marvel actually is looking a little bit weak. Uh, we have got some lower highs coming in right here and we do have a beautiful engulf bearish engulfing candle with volume okay so from here if we do not start to bounce off this particular uh, support level right here basing off you know this pattern here this pattern here and this candle right here these couple of candles right here with volume okay if we do not bounce off this level right here expect us to go lower uh, probably to the 200, which is our next level of support down here. Um, so yeah, Marvel looking a little bit weak. If you are in shares, just look to protect yourself. Oops, what happened there? Uh, just look to protect yourself and maybe sell some options to gain some income. Let's take a look at Sienna Corp. 
And Sienna Corp is looking very bearish. So we've now closed below the 200. We did come down and come back up to try and form a double bottom. On these days right here, you can see fairly weak, fairly, fairly sideways. This would have been a very, a very nice time to either protect your asset if you, if you are in shares um, or look to sell some covered calls, you know, up here and protective puts down here. So if you have got shares on CN, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Oh, sorry, back on the daily, we did have this gap, okay, back here. And this is almost about to be filled. Uh, we probably actually did just fill that gap. So uh, this gap did need to be filled. And on the weekly chart, uh, not a whole lot of support up until about 32.87. Um, that will coincide with the 100 coming in as well. And most likely we will just chop around up here before we start to grind back higher. Let's take a look at Foot Locker. Now, Foot Locker on the daily chart, running into a little bit of resistance here with the 100 simple moving average. And right now we are probably just gonna be chilling. Uh, we have had a fairly decent sized gap here. And I think that most likely we will stay here for quite some time. Maybe come back down, create another low. Um, who knows, but it doesn't look fairly bullish. As you can see, we have got fairly weak volume. Um, at the moment. So if you are in shares on Foot Locker, I'd just be looking to sell some sell some premium up here at around 46 and uh, 46, 45, you know, take some premium. And if we do look like we are going to roll over with increasing volume, look to protect your asset. Got a couple of requests uh, for GLD. Um, now I have been reviewing gold in all my reviews and I did say that most likely we were going to have a head and shoulders pattern. Um, so right now GLD is most likely going to create an S curve from here. Um, I do, I do believe we are in a, uh, a wave four right now. I'll just draw that for you right now. So right now I believe this is your one, two, three, four. And I do expect us to go higher um, from here. If I just draw some quick fibs from back here, if we, we are in a zone where we should be bouncing. Okay. So if we come down to the 618 on the Fibonacci, then I do expect us to bounce. That will coincide with this 100 coming in to play and then slowly grinding higher. If we do just start to launch out of here, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and it would potentially, the S curve that I am talking about is this one right here. So it would kind of look something like that if you were to follow it. So um, GLD does look like a very nice dip buying opportunity. I am bullish on gold. And if you are looking to get in, it looks very, very nice. Here's CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. Now, the last time I spoke about this was back here, I believe. And I did say that if you were looking to buy, you would want to buy off these lows. Uh, we've actually closed below those lows. So right now, I'd like to say I know where this is going, but I personally do not. I don't see it. There's no, no support in the way here. Um, if, if we are going to go lower, we could potentially come up, retest this particular support as a resistance level and then trade lower. Um, but right now, I would not be trying to pick the bottom. And I would most likely just be looking for a nice little double bottom pattern um, with volume increasing uh, at, and, and, and looking to play something like that. If we get it, it could be down here, you know, could look something like that, but um, definitely keep your eyes peeled on CRWD. Right now I would be fairly neutral. I'd have a fairly neutral bias at the moment. looks fairly bearish to be honest. Uh, let's take a look at Twilio and Twilio did come, it did close below the 200. I did say that last time. And if we take a look at the weekly chart, yeah, we have come up quite a well away. And I still do believe that we are coming back down to these levels. 
down at about 95 to you know 100 ish uh if i take a look at the daily charts yeah we are we are in a nice little this could be potentially the the new Elliott wave five wave pattern on the bearish trend so this could potentially be your public participation um on and we could be in a wave three right now so right now that's similar that's something what i would probably be looking at um doesn't look overly bullish at this current moment so if you are looking to buy the dip i'd probably just hold off and wait here's ZS Z scalar. Um, now, last time I spoke about this was back here, and I did say we'd most likely gap down and go lower. And I do believe that we are going to continue lower. Probably we are at a nice resistance level, but take a look at the volume here, guys. We do have oops, we do have very, very weak volume coming in, no bullish signals at all. So this is going to be a very, very weak support and uh, most likely will go a little bit lower, probably down to the next support level, which is down at 36. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, if we do get a break of this level right here, and you are looking for a short opportunity, just look to short the retest, entry, stop up here, and would look very, very nice. Oops. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets, and feeling a little bit of the heat with uh, not so well US performance. Um, if we just take a look at the shorter term moving averages, we do, we have closed below the 20 day EMA and most likely we'll come down to the 50 at least. Long term moving averages, 100s right here. So yeah, most likely guys, we are going to come down to the 100 at least and probably just chop around, probably just chop around and then slowly, slowly grind higher. Um, so all odds looking fairly weak at the moment. If you are looking to buy the dip, probably hold off for a couple more days. Let's take a look at the bank CBA. Now I mentioned back here, if you are looking to, if you are in long-term shares, look to sell some premium uh, against your long-term shares. If you did that, if you did get that and you did make some nice little income, nice little gainage, well done. And uh, yeah, nothing like free money from the markets. So CBA back at the 100 simple um, on the daily and most likely we are still going to chop around here. We could potentially go back down to the 200 if the market does look like it's gonna roll over, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let's take a look at BHP Limited. Now, BHP, we are going to be consolidating here for quite some time. If I was to take a guess at what I believe is going to happen, um, it would look something like this, guys. So I'll just draw this for you and I'll copy that and I'll drag this across. That is what I believe is probably going to happen on BHP. Um, it's going to be very choppy, very, very sideways. So just look to sell high and buy low if you are look if you are in long term shares look to sell options at the highs and yeah maybe if you're an options trader you can look to buy calls at the lows so look at take a look at zero limited and zero just keeps going higher but finally coming into a nice distribution phase and we are going to settle down here for quite some time we have had a fairly decent price rise since the end of 2018, we've come up about you know 80 to 85 percent. Not a very sustainable trend here, guys. So most likely, I do expect a fairly decent retest. the the pre, The previous level of resistance is right here, okay. And if I zoom in, we do have a nice level of support right here, okay. So if I was looking to buy the dip, uh, it would look something like this, either like that, or longer term, something like that. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on a dip buying opportunity on zero. This one, this second one here makes the most sense um, as we have had quite a big, big run up. 
and it would look some, it would look something like this close below the 200 get a whole lot, a lot of people trapped a lot of people scared and then obviously we would start to grind higher at the start of the year after we get the Santa Claus rally Here's Evolution Mining, ticker symbol EVN. And obviously, we did start to sell off up here um, where we did get a nice double top. This is obviously just, uh, this obviously just occurred due to the drop in gold prices. This was a very nice double top with a retest of this neckline. And we are obviously currently now going lower. Um, however, this is most likely going to be a buy the dip event. Uh, we could potentially go a little bit lower, probably down to the 200. But if we do, that will be a very nice buying location. Keep your eyes on gold, guys, if you are looking to trade Evolution Mining. Um, obviously, they are in the gold sector. So make sure you keep an eye on the gold prices. Let's take a look at Wise Tech Global. And right now, just not doing a whole lot. Fairly choppy up at these highs and looks like we're going to get another chance to buy the dip. Um, if we do close below these lows right here, based off this volume, um, I do expect us to come down to the 100. So keep your eyes peeled. We are slowly weakening. We do have some lower highs coming in right now. So keep your eyes peeled on a nice little dip buying opportunity in the future keep it on your watch list guys let's take a look at some commodities now interesting about oil is it's actually broke through i am a, i am still quite bullish on oil i am still waiting to buy the dip i have not got i have not got triggered into any longs i am trading or uh, i am trading cl on the futures but right now guys we are at a absolute solid support level okay not a whole lot of volume coming in here though off this particular bearish candle as you can see not a whole lot of volume um hopefully we do start to see a nice little turnaround here uh we did close below this particular trend line and i do think that this is most likely just going to do basically what we did back in august back here you know very very choppy it will be very nice very very sideways so it will be a nice level to buy low sell high and play the channels so keep your eyes on oil for a dip buying opportunity guys it looks really really nice here's gold and i did say that we were going to get a nice head and shoulders pattern back here um, on this day and we are getting it this does look like it will come down either to the 100 or the fibonacci level here so right now we are we did get a bullish candle off the 50% retracement. If we do come down lower to the 618, um, I definitely will be looking to buy the dip because this will look very very nice. So that's gold. Not a lot to say right now. I'm fairly neutral, still waiting for it to come down and give me a fairly decent signal. But it looks very very nice for a potential long. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now RBA did uh, have a rate cut today also oh, on tuesday and that's what caused this big sell-off right here which did create a 10-year low a new 10-year low by six cents uh by six sorry by six pips um so from here guys i you all know i'm fairly bearish on the aussie dollar so i'm just looking to short the highs um but most likely we're going to be fairly choppy like we are back here and we probably will just chop around throw in a couple of long lower wicks and very choppy, very sideways. And if we do come back up here, you know, look to obviously sell again. That's all I got for you guys. I uh, hope, you, hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back on Thursday with another real life stock review. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.